<laughs> Big Reed here. Got my guy Gavin Haley, right? Yeah, that's I don't want to mispronounce the name and mess up the entire <laughs> interview. Hanging out with me. Pulled up on me in the Bay this weekend. Yeah. Doing a pop-up for fans. A little performance in yeah. Union Square, right? Saturday, 12 p.m. Saturday. It's going to be lit, man. Yeah. That's dope. I'm going to try to, like... Go out that way. I usually don't go into the city on the weekends because traffic's a little ugly, but I know your fans are going to pull up on you, man. Uh, welcome back to the Bay Area. Appreciate it, but thank you for having me. I love it here. I know you were here not too long ago at the Fillmore opening up for my homie Tate McRae. That was... Fans were crazy at that show, man. Tate killed it. Have you done radio interviews before? What? Have you done radio interviews before? I uh, like smaller ones. I've never been here, though. No, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm the first person to ever interview Tate for radio. Oh, no way. I know. I, I didn't think so either, but she told me that a couple months ago. I've done, like, online, like, like, right. like uh, college radio. Stuff. Oh, we love college yeah. radio. That's how I got started, bro, with a really? college radio station. Hell yeah. How was Keep that? It was dope. We got to run the station, do whatever we wanted to. Then I got on the big corporate radio. I'm not allowed to do whatever I want to anymore. <laughs> You pulled up with a bag, bro. I do, bro. You got, you got, you got a bag Bring right that here. over here. Not too many artists pulled up with goodies. My no, homie Jenna Rose pulled up. This might not be the goodies that you want, but okay. I, came, I came with, like, no, normally I bring health stuff, and people are like, why are you doing this? They think I'm going to come with, like, chips or, like, guac. My I bring homie, guac sometimes. My homie Jenna Rose pulled up with a box of cookies for me. This is not a box of cookies, what but it'll that? make you feel better than a box of cookies, bro. This is a this is an immunity shot. I, I do this like I'll sometimes do this at shows. I go down, and give one to a fan, we take it together. It's got like ginger, mm -hmm. apple cider vinegar, all the all the good healing things. All right, I've never. It's gonna burn them. You gotta take it with me. All right, I've never. Feel you... more better. <laughs> is that what I'm immunity boost, happy moose, wellness shot. So I just pop this and just go. Yeah, and I got this water for you in case it's too hot. You can chase what it. What kind of water is that? That looks like alcohol. You gonna get me fired, look, bro? I'm look. It says Tahoe, our arte artesian water. Okay. We're good. We Money. popping bottles and ginger shots We're here. popping water from Tahoe. Okay. I I'm bougie when it comes to good things for your body. I see that, bro. You even got a fire beanie on. Thank you. That's I the first compliment it. you got when you walk in here from Carla. She was like, yo, your beanie is lit. My beanie collection is kind of immaculate, I won't lie. What? I a different one for every show on tour. All right. Damn, that's what's up. I need to do a hat like that. Okay, do I shake it up? I shook it up for you. Okay, we good. Just ready. do this. <laughs> Should we hit it? Bro, if I, if I split spit everywhere, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You're going to be good, bro. I All got right. the water right there, though, in case you need it. Got you, got you. All right. Cheers. Cheers, bro. To health. To health. It's a good burn. <laughs> I'll probably never do that again, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> what is going on? Your eyes got red <laughs> out quick. It's like, it's like, it's like citrusy, but it's like it's got the citrus, but some little jalapenos. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. It's cool. It's I hope like, I feel better. It wakes you up. It makes me feel good. Ooh, well, yeah. There we go. That's how you kick off an interview. What's up, bro? How you feeling? Thank you. I feel good. Um, I got, I've had two singles come out this year. Like, it just everything feels fresh. It's like the first time in a long time the world feels like it's just back to normal, and like there's no pressure like or anything it's just like i feel like i can do everything that i love to do again and so this year's been incredible to be that's honest. what's up man yeah you love you love to hear it you love yeah. to see it too because we all have been in a, a weird a weird place the last couple of yeah. years with covid and with everything else that's just, that's just like the big thing everything yeah. else is big too but have you felt that way though too like everything i'm still here. trying to get through this ginger shot right? <laughs> I told you, that's why i got you the I'm water dude, i'm all good i'm all good i'm gonna thug it out i'm gonna thug it out I'm gonna check it out. We got we got bosses walking around. I don't want them to think we ain't really taking down one and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but nah, yeah. I you know I've I've gone through it. You know sometimes yeah. you have moments where it's like, when is this gonna be over? Yeah. You know, I I lost friends during the pandemic and it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot of pressure. You know, everyone, especially people who are creatives and creators. Yeah. Some creators like you know were able to you know take that take this time where people were like at home and blossom off of it i had a conversation with my friend about that like some people had no like career in the space we're in before this and after like had become bigger than some people who like were already established just because yeah. like they got really creative with their eye honestly man i i like i found out so much about myself during this time i creatively i was a mess mm -hmm. like i i was like holding the phone in front of your face making videos and stuff like that that was a hard time for me to try that stuff and i i I got into a relationship. I was like learning so much about myself personally mm -hmm. during this time. I feel like that's how I grew. I didn't really 
there's like people who were able to launch their careers and i feel like i was just like going through it the whole time man me too bro really me too me too i'm still going through it because it's ginger shot but you know Dude, i i maybe we should have done at the end it's all good it's all good this is like hot ones you weren't ready <laughs> <laughs> nah hell no nah. that that is on my bucket list though i gotta i gotta be cool to get to that point so let's talk let's talk about the music let's talk yeah. about opening up for my homie tate mccray uh, she's super dope, super sweet. What what was that like doing those shows with her? Her fans were like incredible. Mm -hmm. Like first off, everyone on the team was so welcoming. I was, I did like uh, I think nine shows with them. Um, it was just it was incredible. Like every night, you go on the stage and you feel welcomed immediately. You know, like as an opener, sometimes it can be really difficult. Like the people in the room not paying attention. But every night, I felt like I was walking out the family. Mm -hmm. um, and like the reaction to the music, I played some new tunes was incredible. So. Yeah, we had some good times. You know, it's always nice to be on the road. And yeah. here was one of the highlights. Like, San Francisco was... I wore these crazy pants, bro. Mm -hmm. I wore these... Uh, okay, I can't... I, I didn't tell anyone where the pants were, so I almost said it there. I wore these pants with race cars on them. Mm -hmm. And I think my pants got more compliments than my performance. But, like, <laughs> they were just, like... Everyone was so cool. and They were feeling your vibe. Yeah. They were feeling your vibe. It was a you good time. You were You are ready to go. Yeah. So, uh... I'm always feeling my fits, low-key. Yeah. I'm feeling it too, man. I need to get some pants like that, bro. Pretty it's like huh? half blue jean with a little piece of blue jean. It's a little bit of everything, man. That's some what's cowboy up. energy. Killing the turtleneck game. Appreciate I need to step it up. I need to step it up. I'm lacking. <laughs> uh, cliche, that's the latest single that you just dropped, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And I heard that uh, you're getting ready to drop your debut album at some point in the near yeah. future, man. July Let's talk 15th, about it. July bro. 15th, bro. Yeah. It's coming up. Are you nervous? I mean, I, I, that's the thing that changed the past couple of years for me. I don't really get nervous anymore. I get excited, but it's like when you sit with this stuff for so long, I think mm -hmm. nervousness comes from the expectations of wanting to do like a, like wanting to have this amount of numbers and wanting to, to succeed this place. I'm nervous for people to see how like insecure I am on some of these songs mm -hmm. and like how honest I am, but like that's always the scary part. But I'm really excited. I mean, it's my debut album. I, I worked on it for a long time. And, um, I think I tell a really good story with it, so. Your, your music does, from what I've listened to so far, it is a lot of storytelling, yeah. and you are very vulnerable, and you are very honest, and you are very open. Yeah. How did you get to that point? Because I'm sure at some point before, even I could hear within the music, like yeah. you even mentioned like before, like you would like keep those feelings to yeah. yourself. Like how did you get to that point where you're so open now? I mean, put, that's when I said like putting the music out is terrifying because music for me started in my bedroom just writing in a journal and so mm -hmm. it was like at the beginning you never think it's going to see the light of day but i i had like a good support system around me and like and people are like man like you can tell when you hear a song if you believe it yeah you know some of my favorite songs like it's like a shitty recording or it sounds like it was made with a really cheap mic and it's like but you believe it and so for my stuff it was like those vulnerable songs were the ones i believed and so i wanted to um if i'm gonna give a piece of myself to the world I wanted it to be that and not really like a front of things because like I have my times where I'm feeling myself I put out a song called body language which is like a good feeling mm -hmm. song um but yeah that was just like a, always a goal for me was just to be real absolutely yeah name of the album I hate you don't leave me I hate you don't leave me where yeah. did the name come from um it's like this concept of just like push and pull like of a relationship of always kind of feeling like you're having to chase somebody and always wanting to feel wanted, um, but still kind of being in love with that person. Um, and it's like, that's what I, I see even a deeper meaning of like being vulnerable. Like that's like really how I felt at certain times. It's like, you're so angry, but at the same time, I'm wishing in the world with that person being gone. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, a lot of the records are on there. Are like letters that I, I would have said to this person or like things I would have said to this person. What is your favorite song in the album? Have you put out? The, I don't know if you put out the track list yet. Not yet. I don't know if you no. want to share the name of the no, song. No, I'm down. I'm you down? down. Okay. N the name and why is it so important to you? Uh, the f so there's an intro and then the first track that mm -hmm. opens out the album is called Blue Hour. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, it's the first song I wrote for the album. I got this nylon string guitar. I was in the studio and started playing it. And immediately it was just like, it just like I was having a conversation with a producer and it just happened. It was like. I had a fight that day and it was everything I needed to say and get mm -hmm. off my plate. Um, and I think it just really sets the tone for the whole record as a whole. I think it's a, it's a timeless feeling and it's the one I love to perform the most. So Absolutely. Like. So you had a chance to already perform it? I've been doing some secret shows and playing it. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's what's up, yeah. man. That's dope. That's what's up. So yeah. 
Saturday, you're in Union Square, San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be performing some songs, hanging out. I see you brought your guitar with you. I got it. You got your guitar with you. I don't know. We might have to have you crack that thing out and do something for us. That's my um, third arm, baby. I'm ready. Yeah, you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what What are you looking forward to over the, the rest of the remainder of this year? What What With the album coming out and most likely getting back on the road? Like, what? Yeah. What, what, what's on your to-do list? What are you looking forward to? I mean, it's what you just said, getting back on the road, like plenty of my own shows. It's the first time where I think I'm going to have my like own headline shows, which is a really exciting thing for me. Um, mm -hmm. But mostly that and just like reconnecting with people. Um, and I think it's the first time in a long time like I've, I've taken my power back as a person. Like I feel really confident again. And um, I'm just excited to play shows, bro. Tell stories and like do everything to the fullest, really experience it. Like... That's about it, man. I'm just trying to keep keep it a moment at a time. Like yeah. not like, hey, when I when this does this, when this does this, where am I gonna be? It's like, no, like I'm here, I'm in San Francisco today. I'm hanging out with you. Yeah. I'm excited for right now, bro. Like Word. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. Well bro, I appreciate you yeah. pulling up on me. Thank you. Talking to me. Bringing me this this ginger hey, shot and this bougie water. We Don't love forget. the bougie water, man. We love the bougie water. It's popping. <laughs> uh, a message for your fans that are already here in the Bay Area that you've gained since coming through the Fillmore and before that. What, what, what message do you have for your fans? Watching Listen, that's my family, man. Y'all are my family. Me. Thank you so much for showing me love and giving me incredible hugs after the show. Um, thank you for making me feel supported. Um, I love you. Word. Gavin Haley, y'all. Appreciate you. Woo! Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah.